Now, in speaking about not honoring contracts or lack of effective policies at City Hall, I think we need to talk about something that we've all been hearing about in the last few weeks. It's about accountability and accessibility. Now, over the last few weeks, we have clearly seen a lack of oversight at City Hall. And as the former chair of audit, I am disappointed in what has happened over the last three years, especially with all the hard work that that committee did to improve corporate governance and risk management. As chair in 2006, I saw the city was ramping up to, well, the largest capital spend the city's ever done in its history. And it's at times of excess that boards have to be vigilant regarding corporate governance. And it is sheer dumb luck that our pockets were not picked as council literally left the cash register open and walked away. I hold mayoralty candidates who sit on the audit committee to a higher level of scrutiny. There's a big step from Ward Alderman to mayor. And there's a big step, well, in general. <laughs> but uh, I asked them two questions if you're these members. And, and this is serious, and I, I want to ask this challenging question because we need challenging answers. Were you accomplices that knew what was going on you didn't care? Or were you unqualified to ask the right questions? Either way, not the kind of leadership that Calgarians are looking for in their next mayor. Currently, there are two main decisions being made by council behind closed doors. And as mayor, I will open City Hall in three major ways. The first thing I'm going to do is job one, is we will create an independent task force of respected volunteer business leaders who will head up the external audit investigation of the audit fiasco. We will open the books and we'll start at ground zero. I want the report to be unfettered by the mayor's office, city council, and the city manager's office. We will learn from this, and City Hall will take its lumps, and we will publicly disclose warts and all. Now, every time this council has a problem, it looks at the revenue side of the ledger. And we as a council need to start looking at our current expenditures and current asset allocation. We will create an independent task force to review key assets to ensure value for money. We will conduct value audits on NMAX, Calgary Parking Authority, and Corporate Properties Department. NMAX alone represents one third of the city's growing debt. Now I have to ask you this, why are taxpayers at risk of subordinating private business interests? Now some of my friends will say that Spending problems at Calgary, elaborate, elaborate. Why do you think City Hall has some pending problems? I think there's three major reasons. First of all, political will. We have members of council who can't say no or have no solutions. Corporate governance. You know, council sifts through the minutia and lets administration deal with the big picture. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not how a board works. That's the other way around. A perfect example is snow clearing. We had thousands of people at risk of no emergency services, while council took weeks to decide if a Chinook would take care of the problem. This is unacceptable. Last thing is budget process. Put the right process in place, you make right policy. And members of council need to be vigilant throughout the year, not just at budget talks. Members of council need to start acting like a board of directors. We will create a business-like opportunity by actually holding quarterly board meetings to review the financials. We will then send out to the people in the utility bill a quarterly update on the budget so all Calgarians will see actual and projected numbers. This is how you keep to a three-year business plan. And this has how we will inform Calgarians of how their money is being spent.